Hi guys, this is Brooke Rogers with Kiwi's Party. I'm going to be using these cool boost stencils. And I'm going to do it on a flower design. And hmm, you might wonder, where would you get these kind of stencils from? Well, you can get them from the Face Paint Form Shop. And they sometimes come free in your order, different stencils. Or you can order these ones separate, which is what I did. And I'm going to add them to a little flower design and just try to ump up my flowers, which I used some before on flowers. And I was like, this is actually really good, especially with your star blends. Or if you have your high pigment um, pressed powders, then you can add in some extra dimension. Okay, I hope you guys enjoy. First, I went in with my Micam S5 paint. This is a shimmery blue, and I went right on the eyelids only for the most part because I'm going to go back with my sponge, and I want to bring it up, but really softly, so I don't want it to be as heavy. So first, I went on to the forehead right in the middle, and then gently dab on my eyelids, bringing that color up just a little bit. And I want to do a gradient on my forehead, so I'm going to load up on some Micam White, and then I'm going to put that right on top of where the blue was, just patting it really softly, and these paints blend beautifully. So I wanted to get a lot of contrast on my flowers, so I used Wolf White, and then I double dipped my brush just on the end in a dark blue. It's that curling dark blue I love so much. And then when I put it down, I noticed that the ends of my petals were a little bit square, so if you have a petal brush, then you won't have that issue but otherwise this works just fine so just wiggle the ends making your petals a little wider on the ends and I went back to do the middle petals but I noticed that I didn't have enough paint so it didn't come out so great I had to go back and reload more white and more of that blue color and put that down again and it came out much better So now I'm just laying the tip down first and then moving the brush end around and pushing it down. I started on the end and worked back towards the middle point because I find that's a little faster if you're in a rush. Lots of kids in line. So here again, didn't have enough paint on my paintbrush, I had to go back and reload. If you want to have your flowers have even more contrast, then you'll pick a really bright color, like the white, and then a really dark color, like that blue, even though it came out baby blue, it's a really dark blue. And then you can even put on the very, very tip of your brush, black. And I kind of wish I had used a little bit of the black on the tip, just so whenever I put my star blends down later, it would have a little bit more of a contrast behind it, but you guys will get the idea. So next I'm going to load up on my Party Explosion. This color is called Ivy, and it looks really pretty for our leaves, so it's perfect. So we're going to put in some really quick little leaves. Just make them a little bit in between each of the petals here and there, filling out the design. So with my paintbrush and some of these leaves, I'm going to actually draw a leaf shape and then some of these, I'm going to just pull my brush and flick it out. Push it down and then flick it out. Next, I'm going to use my star blends and I'm going to put that detail in the middle of the flowers using my stencils. Usually I would use my lollipop, but I had just washed them so they were still a little bit wet. So I went ahead and grabbed my eyeshadow brushes that I use. And they work okay, but I don't think they're quite as vibrant. And also they have a little bit of extra dust that will come off of the stencil whenever you use your eyeshadow brushes. So as you can see, it fell down on my nose right there, but easy enough. I just got a sponge and wiped it away. Since I was using my eyeshadow brush already, I went ahead and used that Star Blends powder just to soften the blend on the inner corners of my eyes and bring that in. I went to add a little bit of that stencil to the outer corners too, but I added a little bit too much, but no big deal. Dust that away really quick. And this stencil is really, really awesome for baby's breath. And I like it because it has a nice little curve to it. And instead of drawing out or making all of those dots, I can use this stencil really fast. And I can make the sprays of baby breath go in different directions. It has a really nice organic look to it because of the curve. 
in the dots. So just keep filling in the design with the stencil where you see empty spaces. I like this has a lot of different size dots within the stencil as well. I see a space right in between where my eye on the side and the crowner and I can add in some stencil right there. And then I'm just going to add in the finishing touches, putting on a little lip color for your little girls. And I would have added in the blush before I started originally, um, but I forgot to do that. So I just added it in after. Thank you so much for watching along with me. I hope you guys like seeing these blue stencils added on to my flower design. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!